hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my youtube channel and in this playlist we are talking about monorepos and in the last video we talked about the workspaces npm pnpm workspaces and now in this video we are going to talk about the package based uh, monorepo so first uh, in what all different ways we can create a package based monorepo structure first we will just use simple annex so here let's say i will just use annex to create a simple monorepo and then what we are going to do is because package based uh, monorepos are the flexible you can create some existing workspace also you, you can start with a basic workspace either npm or pnpm workspace and then you can add nx on top of that just for build and automation so what nx is doing nx is nothing but nx is just automating the tasks and the executions of the different script right so on top of that even if you are creating the workspace just through the nx cli it is using some kind of a workspace so by default it will create npm workspace and on top of that it will just add nx on to your monorepo to automate the task so similarly what we will do is we will create a pnpm workspace in another example and we will add nx on top of that okay so let's get started we can create a simple monorepo with this example npx create an x workspace and through cli also we can create a package based monorepo let's see how it is app uh, sorry package based monorepo what it will give you it will give you just a simple structure and it is going to use some kind of a workspace by default i think it uses the npm workspace and on top of that it will add the nx capabilities in the monorepo because package based monorepos are flexible they will allow you to create your own apps and packages so let's open this so what do we see a simple package json and here you can see uh, i mean we are using npm and this is the workspace packages so whatever you are going to put inside packages that will be a different workspaces we are going to use so it's like this directory is defining this particular thing is enabling the npm workspace to this monorepo apart from that what do we have i mean cloud we really don't need but we have nx nx is just automating the task because here we have nx json which is uh, enabling these task runners like you can just run build lint test e2e and all and uh, this is just a simple basic nx for the package based monorepo and then further you can start creating the packages in these package directory but important po point here is we are using nx i mean we created this package based uh, monorepo uh, we are only talking about package based this is using some nx and this is just using some workspace so both are package based here what we are doing here we already have a workspace like we will create pnpm uh, npm or yarn workspace and, and then we will add nx on top of that so this is something which we already have and we will add the nx workspace on top of that i mean simple nx monorepo uh, on top of that okay this is what we will do and this is what we are talking about so here package based monorepo i have created through nx cli so i just what i did is i just use nx cli command to create a workspace and then it just it has created me simple package based monorepo which is using the npm workspace so at the end in the package based monorepo we are not talking about integrated here the only the package based monorepos are more flexible either you just use your existing workspace and you can just add nx on top of that because whatever we want to have in the monorepo where you have a multiple applications inside a folder all those things are also available using the workspace solution which is provided by npm pnpm right i can have a multiple repositories inside the packages and i can have a workspace enabled through package json but i wanted to add nx capabilities on top of that that's where the nx come into the picture or i can just use nx cli which is just uh, which will just generate a scaffolding for me and by default it is using npm uh, as a workspace 
you can also set a preset while uh, i mean there is a command which creates the package based mono repo you can set a preset pnpm it will use pnpm workspace i think there is some commands to do it we can just check that command so it doesn't ask for all those things let's uh, see so here we have a simple uh, package based mono repo now we will try a very simple example because uh, what this example is saying we already have this we use this nx cli to create this simple package based mono repo which is using npm workspace so the linking of these packages will also happen in the workspace way like the same way this pnpm npm and the yarn workspace are interlinking are interlinking the dependency in the same way we are going to link the packages so what we are going to do is let's see some documentation here it is creating two packages so let's say i will just create uh, is even and is old and couple of index.ts and package json we can create inside this we are just going to do this example based on the documentation and then we will write our own app there we can write two of these packages and define the dependencies so this is just a simple is even and this is my simple package json which is just building this and creating a dist output directory you can see is even and then similarly this is old and this is my package json okay now what we are going to do is at the root we are going to install the typescript because without that we cannot build it okay cd we will install typescript and then we can we already have the nx installed so we can run all these commands to do a simple build on one particular app is even sim similarly we can do is odd and you can see first time it takes time and second time it is fetching from the cache right and then so we have both the, the packages ready we can just do a interdependency so how we can do the linking I will just import is even package inside is old index.ts so what I will do is I will import this so what we are doing here is we will just do the negation of is even inside is old first of all this is is old and here this is how we are we can import this dependency inside another package now if you just try to do the same build first we will see and we will do the changes so i'm just doing is odd successfully run the target is odd and this is is even okay so is odd is importing is even function right so there is a dependencies which we need to add of is odd inside is even right so how we can do that we need to define this dependency something like this inside is odd package so this is our is odd because here we are using is even and here we also need to set the build target because we are defining the interdependencies but we also need to take care that before even importing that the build has happened or not for that project so in nxjson we will add the build targets
now if i just do again uh, is even which will be build will happen and then is old now you can see one dependent project because is old now dependent on is even and it is just reading it from the cache and if i just do it again it will be more faster because build has already happened and it will read it from the cache so this is the change i was talking about i mean here the annex is creating this package based monorepo which is using npm workspace one npm workspace as a solution to define or interlink these dependencies now here we are doing the build is even and is old and you can also run the build on multiple packages just by simple command run many target build so it will just do the build on both and it is fetching it from the local cache so how we define the dependency that is important part in package json here we are saying is even inside is old so this is how we are interlinking the the packages like is old is using is even and before that there is a build targets also defined in the annex so that whenever there is a dependency found then it will build the sub package first then building it itself like when you are building is old then first of all it should build is even package because is old is dependent on is even package so this is just a sample which is already available on this documentation like how we are doing it so in this particular example what we are doing is it is already using this nx cline package based menu repo which is using npm workspace so everything is handy now if you want to extend it further you can have your own packages on libraries let's say you are creating a react app here and there is a common ui let's say common ui or storybook and here you will just create another component another package react uh, app and sometimes we in these uh, mono repos we always have a packages and also sometimes app so that this depends how you want to do it because inside currently workspace i'm just putting packages but there can be applications also which you want to create so i will just create applications apps so applications will have the applications like angular app react app nestjs app and these packages will be the reusable packages like the common ui or uh, nest logger something like this so let's say nest logger nest auth these kind of modules and these applications will be a simple microservices api and the ui the, these apps also part of the workspace so whatever you are defining inside a workspace so now workspace has a two directories packages and the apps apps are application centric packages are the packages centric because here you will put a reusable piece either a backend or a frontend like a frontend component library backend uh, some utility helpers and common ui components in the applications you will put applications like a front end angular app react app nextjs app swell kit swell js app all these things you just need to make add it in the workspace so that the workspace combines two directories apps and workspace and all these things can work together because these apps also have a workspace enabled now you can import the dependencies from the packages and this is how it works so this is the package based uh, monorepo which we are getting through the annex annex cli but in most of the cases what will happen is you might already be using some workspace solution and we want more flexibility so we want to have like pnpm workspace already there and we will just add annex on top of that so annex why why, why we are adding annex annex to make this uh, script automation faster otherwise pnpm workspace is also already doing the the linking of the packages which are being across the applications and building the multiple libraries multiple applications inside one repository that's already enabled just only for automation and speed up things you will add annex on top of that and you can see this annex package based monorepo has nothing i mean it is not controlled by annex we are doing a lot of things by ourselves here we just added these target defaults so that the the target package can be built also with the the package itself and here we can define the workspace it is by default using the npm workspace you can use a pnpm yarn workspace also and add annex on top of that 
to execute to add these commands so what all the the beauty we are getting the, this is these are the commands npm nx we can build an individual project we can build all the projects and these commands are handy and you can also get nx console i mean i won't be able to generate much because it doesn't have a plugin system enabled it's a package based monorepo but you can just uh, run these build commands directly from here run many affected list migrate so nx console is actually vs code plugin that helps you in automating a lot of things you can execute build for easy one generate currently it doesn't generate anything because it doesn't have anything if you want to generate react app angular app nest app then you need to enable these plugins on your uh, this repository then you will just install nrwl express nrwl react all these plugins so that you can also create a new applications and packages uh, inside this directory okay that's it uh, that's about simple package based monorepo now what we will do is we will just initialize our application with the pnpm workspace and add nx on top of it